some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a heavily edited video from Great Lakes Audits, who is butthurt about not being able to attend a news conference because he is not considered to be a member of the press. Oh, you poor little thing. Shall we get you a ambulance and some milk and cookies for that delicate little ego of yours? While somebody calls the ambulance for him, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Question for you. We're busy here. I'm following. I don't mind walking. Get a little, little bit of this weight going. Um, I was trying to get into the uh, news conference, but I was denied. Unfortunately, I can't let you in right now because it's, it's closed now because they already started it. Because I had to sit here and deal with this crap. You see, the main difference between frauditors and journalists is frauditors create a situation. They antagonize people and get the content for their channel. While journalists seek out events that are going on and report on them. Like a subclass of the journalist is a war correspondent that goes out to war zones and reports on the actions taken on either side of the war. And I doubt any frauditor would dare go to a war zone such as like Ukraine and report on what's going on. Nope, they wouldn't have the spine to do it. So I'm wondering what it would take to get a copy of what was released. Uh, you can file your uh, public records request with the public records. I have records requests going since uh, May of last year that still haven't been fulfilled. Okay. So I was wondering if you could help me facilitate that faster than um, what they can. I cannot because we deal with traditional media outlets, so that's your route. Keep a mental record of this definition that the frauditor is displaying on the screen. It's going to come into play later on when he grossly cherry picks this definition and i mean it is horrible not just the fact that he cherry picked but the very fact that well i'll let you watch the video and you'll see how well it is real uneducated to say the least public records, unfortunately I, I realize it takes some time but that's um the process time they're violating state law by making me wait six months ten months a year well, I would encourage you to uh, follow up with our law department then, if you feel that way. They call the cops on me, making public records requests with them. Like, you, you see where I see what I'm saying? Like, I'm my I'm stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. Yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, I don't have any control over the law department, but that would be my recommendation. If you feel like they're violating the law in some type of way. Yeah. They, well, they themselves are doing it. So, well, thank you, Lieutenant. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Now it's time to hear the delusional ramblings of this idiot as he tries to justify the reasons why he should be allowed in a news conference. So there you guys see it. The Toledo Police Department doesn't want to work with an independent or a freelancer. I've had my stuff, many things, published locally um, with a couple different news stations, uh, one internationally. Um, so, you know. In his description box, he does present a link that shows that ABC News Toledo showed one of his videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, so you had one video posted, but that doesn't make you a member of the staff of ABC. No, no, no. But yet right there it says in the Directive 
section two that freelance as well. Remember when I said to have a mental picture of that definition the fraudster highlighted? Well, he just called himself freelance, but let's look at the entirety of that definition. It says freelance representative of print publications, e.g. newspapers, magazines. Are you a representative of any print publication? No, you are not. Furthermore, I have noticed it's a common trait among frauditors and uh, sovereign citizens to cherry pick or misread what is put in front of them. In this case, you grossly misinterpreted a sentence, though it could have been an outright um, misrepresentation of what it actually said, maybe counting on the uh, hypothesis that your audience members wouldn't read it anyway. In that case, that would make you a liar. So, you're either bad at reading or you're an outright liar. I just can't figure out which one you are. Well, we'll just come to a middle ground and say that you uh, can barely read and that you are a uh, liar. And not a very good one at that. So it's just a battle to deal with these guys. So uh, there's also within their news media relations policy, it states that the chief of police or the PIO or even any supervisor can give out information, but the PIO can disseminate this information willingly. Yes, he can, but it's most likely up to his discretion as well. I mean, you just can't walk up to him in the middle of the street and demand that kind of information off of him. It's not like he can just wave a magic wand and poof, he'll have the information in his hand for you to have. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed tearing it to pieces. I mean, every day that I look at these frauditors videos, I see more and more evidence of their own stupidity by cherry picking or just out right being illiterate.